daybreak in Syria's Idlib city. Prayers mark the end of the Islamic holy month of Ramadan and the completion of a month of fasting from dawn to dusk. Eid al-Fitr is a time for celebrations and respite in a city that's been racked by civil war since 2012. But for some in the country's rebel-held northwest, it's a solemn occasion. In this historic mosque in Cairo, people arrive en masse for prayers and in larger numbers than had been seen in years due to the pandemic. Of course, Eid prayer is a joy to us all. In the past couple of years, we couldn't enjoy it because of quarantine and a nighttime curfew, but this year it's different. The day is celebrated with balloons and traditional Eid sweets called kak. Muslims usually break the Ramadan fast with the first sighting of the crescent moon. For most, this fell on Monday. In India, this was sighted the next day. Leaders from the US and Canada sent their best wishes to more than two billion Muslims across the world. Muslim Americans in my administration have key roles in tackling the climate crisis, rebuilding our economy, safeguarding our health, restoring our alliances, and so much more. After two hard years, this Ramadan and this Eid has brought everyone back together. Russian Muslims in Kazan City observe the holiday, like so many across the world, with prayers, new clothes, food and festivities. Even though the war in Ukraine has caused a surge in food prices. I think that Muslims around the whole world are praying for peace, for the welfare of their families, for a peaceful life. This Islamic holiday is a time to gather and celebrate, and now so many can for the first time in years. Laura Badamanli, Al Jazeera.